Why, hello everybody. Welcome back to the second installment in the Tower Podcast. This is episode two. I really hope you like the first episode. Um, I have a lot to talk about today. Um, where do I begin? Oh yeah, I had macaroni and cheese for dinner, like, just now. It was absolutely delicious. I haven't had macaroni and cheese in, like, a bajillion years. So this was, like, a blessing, basically. Like, I helped my mum make it. And it was really, really, like, like ooey-gooey and cheesy. And I had full of flavour. And I just, I really enjoyed it. It was super duper pleasant. I love macaroni and cheese. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, my treadmill broke. Um, and that made me feel so sad. And I don't know when my treadmill is going to get fixed. Hopefully it's, it's better by today. I mean, tomorrow. Hopefully it was just a fluke and it's not actually broken. Um, because treadmills are expensive. Um, so instead I just did roller skating today, and that was quite nice. Um, and tomorrow at school we have a half day, because the teachers, they're gonna be doing something, and so we're getting kicked out of the school at, like, 12.30. But that's all good, and it's it's actually quite nice, because, you see, like, my mum and I, we're gonna get pizza, and I love pizza. Pizza's delicious. I will tell you guys about that. Um... Also, somehow, I, I'm not sure why this is, but it, like, it, recently it just feels like time has been going, like, so slowly, like, legit, like, I think it was yesterday, like, this feels like it happened a week ago, I can barely remember it, it just happened, like, this was literally my day yesterday, I'm gonna be telling you guys about it, but I had a very, very hectic day, like, you see, I woke up at five, because, like, I needed to drop my dad off at the airport for something at 7.30, so I need to be already for then. Um, I only got, like, five hours of sleep, because it, w- it was super hard for me to fall asleep at night, even though my mom made my bed. Um, because whenever my mom makes my bed, I usually have a good sleep, but not, e- la- e- not yesterday night, sadly. Um, because my dad was up, like, packing his bags or whatever, in preparation for the trip, even though he'd been preparing for the trip for, like, a month. Um, anyways, yeah, in the morning, like, after I finished, like, having my breakfast and stuff, he was just like, oh, nah, I don't really want to go. I feel kind of sick. Um, so we ended up not going, and I woke up at five for nothing. My mom woke up at four. Um, but whatever, that's okay. So I was, like, super duper tired, like, the entire day. Um, and so in order to replenish my energy... I, like, drank, like, a bunch of black coffee, um, and that was, like, delicious, and I really enjoyed it. Um, didn't, I don't think it did anything for my energy, though. Um, and then I went to school, expecting it to be a horrible day, um, because, like, we had pee in the afternoon, and I, it's not that I hate pee, because pee, it's actually quite enjoyable at my school. We just run around and do random stuff. Um, the only reason I dislike it is because I have to carry, like, my um, pee uniform around with me, um, and that takes up like so much space, especially because my bag, it, it's a normal sized bag, but because I have to carry like my books and computer and everything in there, adding like an additional massive thing, like my pee uniform and shoes, it's absolutely hell. Um, but then as like, f- like first period, I got called into the office and turns out today was my day for office support. Every year nine at my school has to do office appoint uh, office support at some point. And it's just randomly chosen as well. Um, I had no clue what office support was. But basically what you have to do is you just sit in the office all day. You can like play on your computer. Like just for the entire day. And then occasionally like a teacher or someone would come up to you with, like, a note, and you have to deliver it to a classroom, um, and that was pretty cool, because, like, now, like, I think that I've mastered my way around getting this, getting around the school, which is epic, um, but you see, the thing, the thing with my shoes is, that, like, my school shoes, I think I've mentioned this, like, on, like, my first day of high school vid that I made, um, but, like, my shoes, um, they're kind of, like, they're tighter on my ankles, right? Um, and so now, because after, after I did all of that walking, um, my ankles are severely bruised and they hurt so badly, um, but that's alright. Um, 
and that's what I did the entire day, just sat in the office, sometimes occasionally del delivering notes, um, and then I was supposed to have my, like, psych session in the afternoon, right, until the doctor called in sick, and yeah, that's been postponed until sometime, um, which kind of sucks. I hate having my plans cancelled. Well, I mean, unless they're plans that I hate. Um, but when the things that, I, that I'm actually looking forward to, when those get cancelled, it's actually pretty sad. Like, really sad. Um, but hey, yesterday wasn't all sad. Because when I got home, turns out I had reached a 4,000 subscribers. So, yeah, thank you all so much for that once again. Um, and also, I got excellence on my social studies project, which I told you guys about yesterday. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for that. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way guys, um, so you know what Bear Me With You? They're like one of my favourite bands. I've been listening to them since like their first single came out, like in 2021 I think. Like, wait, no, 2022. Yeah, in 2022. Um, and I, I love Bury Me With You. And guess what? They're playing a show with Debbie Malik and the Millionaires. Like, the Millionaires. Like, oh my god, that is so cool. Um, and also, um, they're gonna release a new album. Go listen to that when that comes out. Um, just, just go check out Bury Me With You and Deadbeat Nightlife if you haven't already. I'm sure all of you guys already know The Millionaires. But if you don't, if, if you guys don't listen to The Millionaires, then I would also recommend listening to The Millionaires. Um, because all of them are, like, so cool. Oh, yeah, speaking on the topic of, like, new music and stuff, um, Knocked Loose and, like, Motionless and White, like, they, they, it's Sword of House 2, Sword of House 2 is out, um, by Knocked Loose featuring First Motionless, um, it's literally, like, it's, it's so epic. So, yeah, if, if you guys want a song recommendation, then yeah, Sword of House 2, please, 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 that song is epic. Also, guys, there's this thing that I've been, like, thinking of, um, so do you guys say lollies or candy? Because, you see, like, everyone in New Zealand, a lot of, most people say lollies, but I, I just, I don't like that word, lolly. It, it should only be used in a couple of scenarios. Say, like, lolly as in lollipops, that's, like, one of, like, the only, I mean, I, I guess exceptions for the word lollies the other one is like if you're going to if you're in new zealand or something and you're going to get something from a cafe and you're going to get the lolly cake um most people refer to it as a lolly cake because that is the name of it personally i think that calling it a candy cake would be much cool you know because alliteration but you, you can't exactly ask for a candy cake or else they'll be compete. You have to say lolly cake, but I don't like the word. I just, I just, I don't like saying it. It, it just sounds bad. You know what I mean? Um, but that's all right. I, 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 pr I prefer candy. Candy, like just saying the word candy. Or confectionaries, or sweets, or sweet treats, whatever. But just, I, I don't like saying lolly. I, it just, ugh, my, it, it, it hurts. It hurts my mouth. My mouth also, well, I mean, my mouth, it already hurts. I don't, un I, I don't know why my mouth hurts, but it just does. And my ankles, and my back. Oh yeah, I slept crooked last night as well. So, my back really hurts. Um, and that said, oh yeah, guys, I'm having my, um, my other Pop-Tart on, um, Sunday, which I'm looking forward to. I love Pop-Tarts. I've only had two, but they're delicious, and I would really, I, I, I endorse Pop-Tarts. You should, you should have Pop-Tarts, like, now. Like, go to the convenience store right now, and pick up some Pop-Tarts, and microwave them, or toast them, or just eat them, because they are delicious. So yeah, um, um, pop tart endorsement, yippee! Oh, oh yeah, by the way, gamers, like, so on my on on with my with my podcast and stuff, right? On the first episode, I got a couple of comments, I think, said to, like talking about how um most podcasts uh, have like two or more people talking to each other, whereas my podcast is just 
me talking and rambling. Um, but you know what? It, it, it's still a podcast because um, just pretend that like me and you, the listener, are having a conversation. But I don't shut up so you don't get a chance to speak. Just just think of it like that, okay? Um, because you see, the, the cool thing about that is that like I I'm in conversations like in real life I don't really talk well I I, I, I do talk sometimes but mainly it's the other person talking um and so like I never really do get a chance to like ramble and ramble and ramble because I'm much more of a listener in real life um so this is actually cool when I get to talk about just everything and you get hit get to like listen to me talk. I hope you guys like my voice. Um, personally, I, I used to hate my voice as a kid, but now that I'm, like, a teenager, my voice sounds more like a voice and less like a baby. Um, so now I can actually bear to hear my own voice, and I think that's really cool. Another part, I mean, an- another benefit uh, of doing podcasting for me is because, like, you see, sometimes I I just look, like, straight up poo kaka and I'm not in the mood to film videos, and if I'm not in the mood to film videos, then I'll still film them anyways while I am sickly and icky yucky feeling. Um, but with podcasts, I don't even need to record myself, I just need to, like, speak directly into my computer. Actually, you know how you guys, um, are on this screen right now, um, there's a picture of me on the podcast thing that's, like, moving around, um, I, I like to stare at that picture of me and, like, as I'm recording this and pretend that I'm, like, talking to myself because, in reality, that's really what kind of started, um, the, the whole thing, like, my, that's what motivated me to, like, make podcasts, just talking to myself. I mentioned this in the first one, but literally that's, that's all I do. But now I'm posting it and sharing it with thousands of people. So I, yeah, this is, this is basically like, like an into the mind bit of what goes on in Tower's head. Just, I'm just spewing out my thoughts right now. Um, and I hope that it sounds, um, articulate enough to understand me um by the way i heard that people can like like get in, like a lot of people get interviewed on podcasts so um for business and inqu- inquiries um hit up my email address at it is me tower at gmail.com um i made that email when i was like like 10 or something i don't really remember and i cannot make any more email addresses because i already have like 50 and i'm not going to go to the store to buy a new sim card to get a new phone number so that i can make more email addresses because like was it like an update thing that they did like google or whatever so that like you can't make email addresses unless you have a phone number i think that's pretty stupid because, like, what if I want to make, like, a bajillion fake accounts or something for some reason, but I, 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 I need to have another phone number because I've already used up all of the email addresses that I have made with one phone number. If you guys know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Um, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, totes looking forward to tomorrow, because school, it's gonna start, like, way earlier, I mean, it's gonna start later than usual for some reason, um, and then I'm gonna have all my favorite subjects, well, most of my favorite subjects, we're gonna start off with social studies, which is fun, because I've already done all the work, so I just get to sit around, um, and then we have English, which is fun, because, um, my favorite teacher, Mr. Ladder, teaches that class, and he's nice, and I don't really do anything. I just kind of sit in that class and play on my computer. Actually, today I was playing this really fun game, um, Age of War. You guys should play it, it's really fun. Um, and yeah, I was just playing that all day. Um, and then, 
Um, we have we have lunch, which I mean I don't think I'm gonna eat the school lunch, um, because then after that it's just gonna be break, and then I'm gonna have fashion design class, which is fun because I don't do anything, I just sit. Um, but then my mom and I were gonna get pizza, as I mentioned early in the podcast. And we're going to get some monster and cheeseburger pizza from my favorite pizza place. And it's going to be so delicious, and I, I love it. And then I, will ha- I I need to do some more roller skating in the afternoon, as well as hope that my treadmill is fixed. Because I'm, like, genuinely so sad about my broken treadmill. It is so depressing for me. Um, but I hope that the roller skating makes up for it. Um, Yeah. By the way, I know that I've already made, like, two videos on holidays, but, um, la- last night I was thinking to myself about holiday, like, seasonal holidays, because here in New Zealand, we don't really celebrate that many holidays. I mean, like, what's it called? In, um, we start off the year with summer, right? And that's when we have, you know, um, well, at the start of the year we just have, like, valentine's day i mean yeah we have valentine's day but in summer as well we also have christmas um and then um yeah valentine's day and february the 14th actually it's not even valentine's day for me it's actually just dracula's birthday um because that's on february the 14th um and then we we like don't have any holidays for the rest of the year until halloween which is in fall um, actually no, actually no, it's not in fall. Halloween in New Zealand, it's in spring. Like, why is it in spring? That makes no sense. Um, but yeah, and, but like, nobody even celebrates Halloween here. Well, like, some people might, but most people here do do not celebrate Halloween. Um, but I still consider it to be a new, like, a holiday that's, I guess, kind of celebrating New Zealand because of, um, themed candy. You see, that's, that's my interpretation of what, you know, um, holidays are. Like, if there's themed candy to it, then it's a holiday. Oh yeah, by the way, we also have Easter in, so, like, yeah. Yeah, we have, like, Easter in March or April, and then no holidays until a kind of celebrated Halloween, and then... Like, as soon as November starts, then that's when everyone starts, like, buzzing about, like, Christmas and stuff. Um, and then in December we have Christmas, and then New Year's, and it's, it's, I, I don't like it because it's not evenly spread. We should have holidays that are, like, you know, nicely spread around, you know, the year. Instead of just having, like, a bunch of stuff at the end slash start of the year and nothing in the middle. Because that just leaves, like, the middle of the year to be really boring. And, like, I mean, yeah, in New Zealand we do have that, um, like, we don't celebrate Independence Day on whenever that is, July the 4th or something. But we do have a Nasareki and Waitangi Day. But, I mean, does anyone celebrate those? No. And I wouldn't classify those as real holidays because there isn't any themed candy to it. I mean, yes, we do get a day off school, but we don't get a day off school for Valentine's Day. But hey, guess what? There are va- there's Valentine's Day candy. Um, so yeah, I, I would advocate there being some sort of holiday in the middle of the year just to spice things up so that like the year isn't like, it's not all boring. And I mean... Yeah, it, it, it's lucky for people who have their birthdays, like, in the middle of the year, because, like, that gives them something to look forward to other than the other holidays. But my birthday, it's on December 1st, National AIDS Day. And yes, I am meant to be flexing that. Um, but that's in December, which is, like, basically at the end of the year. So, um, yeah. And yeah, I have already planned out my birthday cake, and I'm totally looking forward to it. It's going to be so fun. Um, and yeah, um, oh yeah, guys, we got Thai silk for dinner, like, two days ago on Mother's Day, and that was absolutely delicious. I really liked that, um, um, I, I actually, I really enjoy, um, Thai food, 
Like, it's it's so delicious, and I really enjoy it. I would recommend having tight. Hey, look, this thing's going to end soon. Um, Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all my latest updates. Bye-byes. Why isn't this ending? Bye.